What's up everyone, we are back with another tutorial and on this one I'm going to show you how to use this program here called Scraper also known as Screen Scraper what this program does is it fetches all the box art all the screenshots, video clips, uh, metadata for your ROMs and for whatever console those ROMs are for and this actually is compatible with Recalbox and RetroPie for use uh, with Emulation Station and if you're like me and you have way too many ROMs on an external hard drive then this program will fetch all of that data and compile a XML game list for you so it kind of does it for you I can't really use the inbuilt screen scraper for RetroPie because I have too many ROMs and they're not on the SD card so this is a much easier way for me to grab all that data and um, transfer the ROMs onto my arcade setup. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on download and I highly suggest make an account for this because you will have a quota that you may reach. Um, I can't say how much you can download but if you try to scrape too many ROMs uh, with a free account then you will have to wait uh, another day to retry and uh, scrape the rest of them. So I suggest making an account even though a free users can only scrape one console at a time it is better than uh, just the guest uh, account I guess. Locate the download section and then pick which OS you're using I am using Windows for mine. So download it, make an account. Once it's downloaded, you can like run and run as administrator. It will take a bit longer to load initially because it has to download all the uh, data for it. But you should be um, introduced by this setup here. This is the what you would see. I think it initially asks you what systems you want and then you just basically pick how many systems you want to scrape with. I've pretty much picked all of them. I have new Geo Pocket Color games that I need to scrape. So pick which uh, emulator or console that you need to scrape with. In my case, the new Geo Pocket Color. And then it does look a bit daunting at first, but trust me, it's actually quite straightforward. Um, to log in, you need to click on Screen Scraper account. As you can see here, I have one scrape engine enabled, which means one console can be scraped at a time. So locate your games. Games, ROMs folder. Here is my Neo Geo Pocket Color ROMs collection. And then if you're selecting ROMs that have multiple different file extensions, such as, uh, for example, the, the PlayStation has bin in queue files and it also has image files, a P PBP, um, ECM and whatnot. There's, there's too many files extensions and you need to like choose which one to scrape because it will just scrape all of them and the result of this is you'll get duplicate ROMs on your system. With a PlayStation one you definitely want to like remove a file extension so then you won't have like three of the same scraped video game and it just kind of looks messy so, so that is an option that you can do. I'm leaving mine as is. Go on games list, I'm clicking specific configuration. Because I'm using RetroPie, yours, your game list will be different than mine if you're using Recalbox, I believe. So what I need is gamelist.xml. This will basically write it on the, the root of the Neo Geo Pocket Color ROM folder. We can leave this as it is. And then scroll over to metadata and use specific configuration again and this will give you all the descriptions all of the like necessary information that you need for the game so you definitely want to click this now 
this will be unclicked so click on specific configuration for this again and then you can basically pick and choose which three box art or marquee that you want leave media type as internal mix and then you can choose if you want like the screenshot to have box art or the cartridge or also the the region as well so when you click on video you can click on standard definition or one that has 30 frames per second so if you're running with like not much space um, it's best to just keep this as standard box art you can have it as 3d title or just a screenshot now we already have kind of like a screenshot here now I'll just check if everything is correct everything looks good and then we can leave this as it is now don't worry about um, this section here this is if you have a connection to your Raspberry Pi or Retro Pi or Recal Box or Launch Box. I'm just going to click on Generic so this will just fetch it all and compile all the media art and the game list to the same folder because I will transfer this myself. So once uh, you're happy with that, click on the Start button. So I didn't have too many games and uh, actually did it quite quick. Uh, if you have like gigs and gigs worth of ROMs, then this will take like over an hour, but um, I only had about 270 uh, megabytes worth of Neo Geo Pocket Color ROMs. So yeah, 29 seconds, very quick. Now let's see, let's see what this uh, scraper has fetched. So locate your ROMs folder where you've scraped. This is the Neo Geo Pocket Color one. We can actually check our game list uh, XML. And it's compiled it all neatly with the metadata and location of where all the image and screenshots will be. exit off here and then click on media and then you can check if you're happy with this obviously if you don't want this style of uh, screenshots and box art combined then you can obviously change this again you can just delete this and then redo it again that looks good here's all the screenshots some games it has just uh, duplicated the screenshots but that's okay because they're pretty much the same game video files perfect so this is all looking good I can just transfer all of this onto my uh, retro pie so let's um, FTP to the retro pie so I'm using a uh, Win SCP to transfer all my ROMs. Here are my ROMs folder. As you can see, I have quite a lot of um, consoles here. So just locate your folder, Neo Geo Pocket Color. Obviously, you need to download the emulator on uh, RetroPie to be able to see your ROMs. So make sure you've downloaded your uh, emulator before doing this because uh, your ROMs will not appear on the emulation station and everything has to lo be located to your uh, wherever you put your ROMs but that's just for another tutorial so let's go ahead and transfer our ROMs Again, this shouldn't take too long, but 
I am transferring over network Wi-Fi and if you have uh, a lot of ROMs then it might be easier just to plug in your USB drive and then just do it that way rather than uh, FTP in your ROMs. So I'm just doing it doing this way just for convenience. Again it might be faster just to unplug your external drive or SD card and then plugging it into your PC. <clears throat> okay all our games are on here now. I've got a couple of duplicates I can probably just delete that one. Alright so I'm going to head to the arcade and then show you the results. Just to go back again, your folder should look something like this with all the media in one folder and you need to make sure you have the game list and everything on the game list corresponds to the location of the box art. So this is what my PlayStation 1 looks like. I've got a mixture of PVP files and binning queues. It kind of looks a bit messy here. I do need to uh, change the file extensions. But yeah. All right, let's head over to the arcade now. All right, so I've got RetroPie loaded up um, using emulation station here. And this theme is called like comic book theme or comic book something, uh, which is just one of the the ones you can download that are on the list on Retro Pi. We need to locate our Neo Geo Pocket Color games. And as you can see, all the videos are playing up here. They all have sound. They actually fit quite well. We have our metadata along here. Your theme will obviously look a bit different. I should probably change the screenshot and box art here. This part is a little bit too small. You can't really see what's going on. So maybe just the box art itself or a screenshot will look a lot better here. Obviously this might look good on your setup, but for this theme here, this doesn't really work well. So you just have to kind of mess around, see what you think fits with your theme, if you're using Emulation Station that is. But yeah, it's uh, scraped pretty much all these ROMs here. I don't really have any duplicates. So let's go ahead and try out some Phase of Fury F Contact. So pretty much that is how you uh, scrape all your ROMs. I and mean, that took what, a matter of 30 seconds to actually scrape everything. To set everything up it took a few minutes. But if you know what you're doing and you've got way too many ROMs or you've got ROMs that you want to add to your collection that do not have um, the metadata needed then you can actually just uh, compile you know, a bunch of new ROMs that you have for your system and then just manually uh, put the game list data onto your other game list. So yeah, um, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and try this game out. There's only two buttons that I can press. Never actually owned a new Geo Pocket, but I have played one before.
So yeah, I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys. So yeah, if you do have any questions then please comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another tutorial.